these two things, garbage and bird feeders, are the two largest causes of death of bears in Washington. This one pound bird feeder will hold about 2,000 calories. A pound of blueberries is about 500 calories. Survival is usually about 80% in the woods, but the bears that are inhabiting Snoqualmie Ridge and Issaquah and North Bend, survival is about 59%. And we know people are smart. They know the statistics. It bears, it's rare for a bear to attack a person. And they interact with these bears over the years and they say, oh, you know, our bears are not dangerous. Well, they may not be dangerous to you, but someone else may perceive them to be. And that's what's killing them. You're getting them comfortable around people and then they meet the wrong person who decides to kill them. This is a bear proof container. Very, very different from what you're seeing being utilized around King County. A lot of what you see are called wildlife resistant canisters and they'll have a little turn handle here to open it. That's not a bear resistant container and bears are taking advantage of it. This is a grizzly bear tested trash can. Um, impossible to get inside. And so one little quick twist of the handle and opening it up, if it tips over, you can't open it. And that's the beauty of this thing. It has a gravity fed switch. So the Achilles heel for these things is that they've always not been compatible with trash trucks. So you needed something to come in and unlock it so the guy wouldn't have to get out and then dump it. All you have to do is grab this, tip it upside down and gravity opens the lid. And then when it closes, you don't have to do anything. It automatically locks. And this is the standard that we're trying to get throughout King County. So if folks start using these containers and we take away that food supply, bears are gonna, over time, stop visiting these places because it's not beneficial to do so. They're gonna have to stay in the woods, fatten up for the winter. They're denning four to five months a year in Washington. So the time is short. They don't have a lot of time to waste. Keep them away from people and they'll have to stay in the woods. You know, a lot of people like seeing bears and we get that. We like seeing bears too, but enjoy them for a minute and then shoo them on. And please don't provide these things encouraging them to come back because while you think they're harmless, and in a lot of cases they are, your next door neighbor or the next block over may feel threatened and they may rightfully pick up a weapon and defend themselves. Let's let them eat where they should and eat natural things and stay away from people.